What's going on guys? I hope you're here to learn about Amazon FBA wholesale because that's what I am going to talk about today. I wanna to talk about the three most important things that you need in order to start your Amazon FBA journey. Before I get started, I want to go ahead and show you the progress that I've made so far just in roughly three months of doing this, but really only about two months of having products in the Amazon FBA warehouses. Today, actually, currently, I'm having a record day in sales, which is amazing. That just gives me more motivation to keep on going, and I wanna continue to learn as much as I can on a daily basis, learn from people who are better than me. I'm watching YouTube videos. I'm reaching out to people who have been doing this for a while. Uh, especially using you know the ecom solutions platform that I am and that's gonna get me into my first point the most important thing in my opinion that you are going to need to succeed in Amazon FBA is the ability to find and close on suppliers without the ability to actually have products to sell you can't sell anything even if you know, you, you're the best in the world at analyzing and collecting data and understanding how to generate sales on Amazon, if you're doing wholesale and you can't close on suppliers or maybe something like what I'm using, the shortcut of using Ecom solutions or another big distributor who has access and who's already done all this for you, if you can't get products, you're not going to be able to succeed in Amazon FBA. This isn't like drop shipping where you can just go to a site, say, oh, I wanna sell this product and then list it. And you know, you get a sale, you make money. You have to put in the work and you're probably going to get rejected time and time again. That brings me back to my point of the fact that I decided to take a shortcut. Long run, am I sacrificing some money by maybe giving up some of the, the profit by using a distributor and having this commission-based deal with them, yes, I am. There's no doubt about it. The long run, it hurts. But I'm more thinking about just getting the ball rolling and actually being able to start my Amazon FBA business. Number two, you're going to have to be able to understand data, how Amazon works in terms of sales rankings and the product categories and really understanding how the buy box rotation works, how many sellers are on the listing, if you're gonna have a chance to sell that item based on the demand and the supply. So if you don't understand those things, you're not gonna be able to order the right inventory, you're not gonna be able to know what inventory you should be ordering. So you have to have some sort of an analytical mind or you, know, you can use a software such as Jungle Scout which is what I'm currently using. There's two things that I use inside of Jungle Scout. I use the product tracker, which actually allows me to put an ASIN inside of this piece of software. And it uses the inventory of the seller in the buy box to figure out how many sales that particular listing is getting. The other way Jungle Scout knows is based on the best seller rank. Number three is going to be your capital resources. So your cash, Maybe you have investors, maybe you have a credit card. Now, how much capital do you actually need? So me personally, I started with $15,000 of inventory. What I did is I basically front loaded my store. Now, my whole goal and my whole plan is every single dollar that Amazon sends me in terms of like paying me through my seller account, I'm rolling that money back into my inventory. This will allow me to do is grow exponentially. It definitely takes those three things plus a lot more. I would elaborate on the mindset you need to have as well, but I wanna save that for another video. There's a lot of things you need to understand about yourself and your habits in order to make a business like this work. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. And if you could on your way out, please like this video.